everyone and welcome back to my channel. So myself Rakshit Desai, a final year MBBS student studying in Devi Patil Medical College, Kolhapur. So today I'm going to dive into a topic that is close to all of our heart and that is the common mistakes the MBBS student makes and mostly how to avoid those mistakes. Whether you are a first year MBBS student or almost done like me, these tips will help you to stay on track, reduce stress and maybe even improve your grades. So let's jump right in. So starting with the classic mistake and that is ignoring the basics. So many of us get caught up in studying the advanced topics, forgetting that the foundation is as much important. For an example, if you don't have a clear understanding about the anatomy, physiology and biochemistry in the first year, then you will struggle with your clinical subjects later on. So for that, keep visiting the foundation concepts regularly, even if it is a quick revision every month. This will keep your basics strong and will make the advanced topic easier to grasp. Next, let's talk about the one of the most important traps and that is trying to study from lots of resources. Trust me, I have been there. There are countless books, notes and online resources which are present and it's easy to think that we require all of them. But the actual fact is just find the best one which is a good resource that works for you for each subject. Focus on quality and not quantity. Supplement with other materials only if you absolutely need more clarification. Having a go-to textbook and set of notes can save so much time. Then another mistake which I see a lot in first couple of years is only studying the theory and neglecting the clinical part. See, medicine is not just only what you read or what you know. It's all about what you do. And when it comes to your exam point of view in your postings, then your skills is most important than your theoretical part. So for that, from day one, just focus on your clinical skills. So if you are in your dissecting lab, then just participate actively. During postings, just watch the procedures carefully and just ask to assist if possible. Developing hand-on skills earlier will help you to be a good doctor in future. Now, the next one is the big one and that is putting self-care on the back burner. We all know by now that how demanding MBBS is, but constantly sacrificing your meals, sleep and exercises can hurt both your performance as well as your health. So for that, make sure that you make time for your self-care. You don't have to go overboard, but prioritize a balanced lifestyle. Get adequate sleep, take a short breaks and make sure that you eat well and healthy. Small routines like 15 minutes morning workout or meditation can make a huge difference in managing your stress. Cramming. I know we all do it, but it's not the best way to retain information for a long term. But you are more likely to forget it soon after. So for that, focus on space repetitions and active recall techniques. Start studying early, break down large topics into manageable chunks and review periodically. So this way you will retain knowledge better and you will go in exam with less stress. You are often afraid of asking questions because it makes you look unprepared or weak. But the truth is asking questions shows that you are engaged and have a urge to learn. So please don't hesitate to ask questions whether it's from your seniors, your classmates or professors. In fact, discussing with others can often give you a new perspective and will help you in understanding the topics in a much easier way. Lastly, focusing on grades. I get it, passing exam is essential, but your job in MBBS is becoming a good doctor and not just scoring good marks. Shift your focus from just marks to actual learning. Focus on building a knowledge base and skills which you will use in your real life. Strive to learn for the sake of your future patients and not just for exams. So yeah, these are some of the common mistakes which I and some of the MBBS students will make. But thankfully, these are easy to avoid with a bit of self-awareness and discipline. 
Medicine is a challenging journey, but with the right choice, it can also be incredible. Remember, it's okay to make mistakes because we are all here to learn and grow. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, then please give a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And just let me know in the comment that what mistakes you have made or what advice you may give to other MBBS students. I will love to hear your thoughts. So I'll meet you soon in the next video. Till then, keep studying, stay healthy and take care.